Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullah. I talk about the um, meaning of the talbiya that is labbaik Allahumma labbaik um, in the last uh, session. Um, now I'm going to talk to you about the significance of what? Of the rituals of Hajj. What is Hajj? As I said, a visitation to uh, visit certain sites that Allah commands us to, okay? And as we know, when the Prophet Muhammad, may Allah exalt his mention, performed his Hajjat al-Wada, a farewell pilgrimage, he made sure that all those with him, at the time, probably they were 100,000 people, more or less, okay? Uh, depending on the reports that uh, we have in our reference works. However, the Prophet Muhammad, may Allah exalt his mention, wanted to make sure that his uh, companions and the Muslims after them would learn the procedure of Hajj. That's why he said, learn from me the rituals of Hajj. In other words, he was keen that the Muslims would perform Hajj properly, just as he did. You see, this is the uh, thing that when we say, uh, when Allah says, Allah, you have the best example in the Messenger of Allah. Example in what? Example in every way and everything, ritually, um, religiously, socially, what, whatever, whatever. He's our, you know, um, paradigm. He's our uh, example to be followed, okay? So he uh, taught his companions the rituals of Hajj. We know now the first, the very first thing we do, as soon as we arrive in, in, in Mecca, what would you do when you enter the uh, Al Masjid al Haram or the inviolable, inviolable house of Allah, which is the uh, sacred house of Allah in, in Mecca? The very first thing you say, um, different from uh, when you go to any masjid in the world, the very first thing you do, you perform two rak'at, which is called the greeting of the masjid, Tahiyyat al Masjid. Not in the uh, um, inviolable house in Mecca, Al Bayt al Haram. Mm -mm. What you first do or have to do is the tawaf. You start off with the tawaf, whether you are performing hajj, whether you are performing umrah, whether you're just visiting the masjid in order to perform salah there. The very first thing you do is to perform tawaf, seven rounds, seven rounds, keeping the black stone in your arm. Um, uh, left hand side, of course, you can't, you can't do it any other way because all the people, day and night, 24 hours, they're making that tawaf. So you go and um, uh, go with them and uh, perform your tawaf. Now, you find some people ask funny questions. Yes, funny questions. Saying, well, how come, how come we uh, turn anti-clockwise in our tawaf? We go anti-clockwise, right? And in fact, I was asked this question, and uh, believe you me, I had no idea uh, that someone would ask a question like this. That's why I was not prepared. But I say Allah inspired me, inspired me to give the, the question that really uh, satisfied the inquirer. What is it? He said, how come we, uh, when we perform tawaf, we go anti-clockwise? Without thinking, brothers and sisters, uh, honestly, it crossed my mind right away. I said, well, I want to ask you a question. Who started first? The tawaf? Or who existed first? Tawaf or the clocks? Well, you know, I mean, uh, the clocks, maybe you go, maybe, let's say a thousand years back. But tawaf. Tawaf started, you know, maybe 5,000, 6,000 years ago. <laughs> so, uh, well, of course, you know, he would not have any answer to that. Uh, but anyway, uh, when we perform Tawaf, you see, this is the point. Why do we perform Tawaf? Why do we do anything with these things? Simply, brothers and sisters, simply because Allah commands us to do that. That's one thing. Second, because the Prophet Muhammad, may Allah exalt his mention, did that. We have no choice but to do it exactly as he did. Because he said, Sallu kama salli, perform prayer as you see me performing it. And also, he said, Khudu anni manasikakum, learn from me the rituals of Hajj. 
In other words, we have no choice that what the Prophet Muhammad, may Allah exalt his mention, did. If you did it, if you do it the other way around, forget it. No reward for that at all. And if you deliberately do it, that means you, it, it's going to be um, uh, punishable. But anyway, the point is, I want you to understand, we do it because Allah commands us to perform tawaf in the Quran, in Surah Al-Baqarah, as well as the Prophet Muhammad, may Allah exalt his mention, himself did it. And he uh, commanded us to do exactly as he did. Okay? Now we understand the concept of tawaf, inshallah. Uh, next time I'm going to talk about the concept of sa'i. Until then, assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. لبيك لا شريك لك لبيك إن الحمد والنعمة لك والملك لا